great honor and a privilege to be here hosting the most prestigious humanitarian awards at the United Nations. We have been treated Thank you very much, everybody. And I'd like to have the pleasure now to introduce my co MC, who many of you will recognize from the huge internationally acclaimed show that she co-starred in in 250 countries syndicated around the world, Knight Rider. Anybody remember Knight Rider? The beautiful, very talented, Miss Rebecca Holden. Let's go. so much and thank you to my distinguished co-host Joel and Austin. It is such a pleasure and an honor and a privilege to be here tonight. Um, among all of you, you who set the highest standards in humanitarianism and so we applaud you for your altruistic endeavors and your beneficent work and that's what tonight is really all about. We are here to recognize and honor and celebrate excellence in humanitarianism. And as you all know, this is the second annual Global Officials of Dignity Awards. Yes. The God Awards is an international award which honors those individuals who have exhibited outstanding civic and charitable stewardship and who have significantly improved the quality of life in their communities through their expertise, their talents, and their skills in the fields of business, arts and entertainment, and philanthropy. You know who they are. Okay, so let's start with Airline Ambassadors International, or AAI, headed by its founder, Nancy Rivard. And I love this man. He has a smile that simply lights up the room. Headed by Mr. Ben Lai. Moving on very quickly, we also have to thank the African Kingdom Federation of the South Kingdom, headed by her Imperial Majesty, Shiva Hassan Lai. The National Council of Women of the United States, headed by Mary Sue. Also, one of the partners is the head of the Black American Political Association of California, Mr. Percy Pitney. Also, we have the Southern Philippines of Muslim and Non-Muslim Unity Development Association International, His Royal Highness Dr. Batu Hamad Ali. Next, the Circassian Benevolent Association, or CBA, headed by Mr. Sam Mirza. And we are thanking him for those marvelous dancers that we saw as well. Yes, and then also joining the partners are Empowered Pinoy Academy by Joy Harga. And lastly, Visionary Empowerment, headed by my buddy, Mr. Ambassador Isaiah Tavala. We had a wonderful conversation last night about the power of music to unify us all. You know, as, as always, any event would not be successful without the unwavering support of our sponsors. So tonight, we'd like to give thanks to these sponsors. Tutti Frutti, the official health food of the Bible. Yes! And Power Pinoy Academy, the official livelihood academy. and wellness tool. <laughs> Mitchell Printing, the official printer. 
American Airlines and Southwest Airlines, and we are so grateful to them. We would not be here without their generosity because we were fun coming in on the American and American Southwest, and we are so very, very grateful. The Royal House of Kassam, who gave us the extraordinary Manuel and Memorabilia. Amazing. The Chinese delegation. And we're so very excited to introduce to you this incredible lady. I've only recently really come to, to get to know her, but I am so impressed by this remarkable woman. She does everything, everything. She is a seasoned diplomat. She is a cultural and humanitarian icon. She is an entrepreneur. She is a peace advocate, a TV host, a marketing mogul. She is a producer, a singer, a choreographer, an event coordinator, a songwriter, a painter, an artist, a fashion designer, a publicist, an endorser, and the list goes on and on and on and on. I don't know, but I tell you, I don't know when she sleeps. She is the quintessential superwoman. And quite frankly, all you ladies out there, you know, um, between you and me, I think it's just a little annoying that one woman could be this multi-talented. <laughs> no, she would agree. And on top of all that, she is beautiful besides. So, Maria Amor Torres is the Princess of the Royal House of Valois, and people address her as Her Highness Queen Marie IV. She is one of the governors, Queen, Queen, Governor's Governor, Queen of Sheba, Council of the Federation of the South Kingdom, and also known as the Traveling Princess. She is the founder and president of We Care for Humanity, a, pro a non-profit organization advocating human rights, world peace, green environment, education, eradication of poverty, empowerment, and health and wellness. And on top of all that, he just happens to be the sweetest person on the planet. So right now, let's welcome for health and wellness in the Philippines, Guatemala, and Indonesia. Next year, we are aiming to implement housing projects in undeveloped countries. And in the coming years, we hope to contribute in solving global problems one step at a time. After witnessing a very successful period this morning, as well as your overwhelming support, I strongly believe that this vision will turn into reality. <laughs> of course, none of this would even remotely happen if not for the generosity and sacrifices of our partners who gave their time and effort to make here and now happen. I would like to call my partners, the different nonprofit organizations, and as I call them, please come on stage. The Airline Ambassadors International, Ms. Nancy Lloyd. I was talking about Peel earlier. She's one of them, and not only she's my hero, she's my idol. I'll give the microphone to you, let me call everybody. Of course, I mentioned my hero, Mr. Ben Lai, the president of China U.S. Business Association. The president and founder of Empower Pinoy Academy, 
Miss Joy Hardwell. The President of National Council of Women, National Council of Women of the United States, Ms. Mary Single Terry. The President and Founder of Visionary Empowerment, um, His Excellency Ambassador Isaiah Chabala. in Africa who cannot be here tonight, my mother in throne, Her Imperial Highness, Queen Shiva III, Emperor Shiva III, of African Kingdom Federation, Federation of the South Kingdom. We have Miss, uh, our Queen, my sister Queen, Governess Queen, Mary Lucian, please represent her right now. And also Skamuda, Southern Philippines, um, uh, Southern Philippines Unity of Muslim and Non-Muslim Development Association. My father in throne, His Royal Highness, Dr. Komad Ali, who is not here also tonight, but will be represented by my brother in the House of Royal House of Baloy, Mr. Farid Idrisi. Prince. His Royal Highness, Prince I'd like to call the President of the Circassian Benevolent Association, <laughs> Mr. Samuel <laughs> What's in your wallet? I mean, what's in your hands? <laughs> because this is where we always progress from. It could be your power influence, resources, talents, or abilities, whatever it is, don't hold it back. Use it to make the world a better place. So all of you Italians, this is what we're all about. Bridging the gap between power and influence to the peace and welfare of the universe. All of you. We also so very happy that we do humanitarian service every month. We model it. We teach traveling to make a difference with our own actions. And uh, our, the beneficiary that we recommended, my family, is here to accept the award later tonight. It's such so an honor to be here. Uh, when I first realized that we in Haiti we can do so many things, uh, when I was a kid, up to 15 years old, I was in disability camps. I supposed to be a huge animal boy. I'm very humble and honored to be a part of this uh, great humanitarian cause. Thank you very much. Meeting Princess Amor put me into a higher level. I always believe that I do not exist for myself, for my family and friends. I exist for a higher purpose. So I hope that through this experience today, I know that I will remember you, I hope you will remember us, and of course all of those that we serve under humanity. Thank you. The gifts from God, the God of many names, do not belong to us, they belong to others. speaking tonight on behalf of my Empress that wanted to be here but could not be with us. But I know she would say thank you on behalf of the African Humans Federation and one in light to all of you. God bless. Uh, Dr. Dr. cannot be here tonight. As the Buddha is very glad to work together with the care for humanity. Thank you very much for coming tonight. Uh, we will enjoy tonight and we will see each other soon. Thank you very much and 
enjoy the night. Thanks, everybody. I'd like just to welcome everyone. I've enjoyed meeting everyone around the world, kings, queens, dignitaries, ambassadors, everybody. That's all. So that wonderful quote about teach a man the fish. Well, tonight we're going to give you fish or chicken or beef. I know everybody knows me already. They cannot forget my face. <laughs>
and why did I mention all of you? Because if it weren't for the efforts of all the humanitarians of the older generation, I probably wouldn't be here. And so I want to thank all of you for believing in us and investing in the future generation. Thank you so much. And so tonight we dedicate this song to each and every single one of you. Because it is by your love and your compassion and your generosity of spirit that you are making dreams come true in the lives that you touch all around the world.
They serve us well. They serve us with passion. They serve us with dedication. And I want to thank the God Awards for calling the world together on this occasion. And I will see that I personally deliver the award to our Senator, Diane Feinstein. For 10 years at Congress. So this is very comfortable for me. But I think that we owe you to a great day of gratitude for your humanity and your expression here in New York, the biggest city in the country and one of the most influential cities in the world. And you would come for to say to everyone that wake up and demonstrate and take action on your humanity. And so we probably present to you this award for all the good you've done for the world. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And uh, it is a special privilege to receive this award. An African American woman. Uh, I'm a feminist, so thank you very much. I have a small school, 15 million SNEs all over the world. To all the Christians in the Middle East, I can hear your voice and I won't rest until I, you can live with dignity and without fear. I promise your suffering won't be in vain. And so, the God Award presents to a very wise man, a very giving man, and one that cares universally about humanity. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Princess Maria. Thank you, Douglas Wilkin. Uh, thank you, every one of you, especially my wife, Sandy, and my two daughters, this is great. And also, all my friends, 10,000 smile over here. Dr. Schnapps, Jim Tucker, it's all my friends here. But most important, I think, I thank you, each one of you. Was your present, but we have future. The people who live here, there's a hope because we are here. Thank you. Uh, nominating committee for submitting my name for this award. And most of all, I would like to thank the organizations affiliated with the National Council of Women for all the work that they have done to make this possible for me to receive this award. I am very grateful and very humble and I will continue to do the work in God's name and His presence. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, y'all. Uh, I humbly accept the award, but I want to uh, take it on behalf all my mentors on the field right now, they don't have the luxury to be here. Number two, I'm going to take this for and I, I challenge the young generation to come and steal me from me. I, I don't want to keep it. I am willing to challenge them to better me. Way better. Thank you very much and be careful. My challenge is hard. I guess you see, you see, I'm a queen of Sheba, but I'm setting it on her behalf. And she wants to send a message to you all. And all protocols observed. And the African Kingdoms Federation, Nubian Nation, Imperial Matrina Thrones of Sheba, the Royal Kingdoms, on behalf of the Nubian Nation. Kasapura, Porti Royal Family Houses, the Ghana Nation, the Ashram, Asasi, the Yamaka and the Third, the Boa is God of Thunder and Lightning, the Papa Chewe, as and also as Chairman and Vice Chairman of the Federation of Supreme Council of the Thrones, we say thank you. For bestowing this award on Queen of Sheba the Third. She couldn't be here and I'm certain on her behalf. We are forming a bridge 
to invite me and I'd love to, in my life, to introduce one country to another country. I find it with Mr. Dick Clark and co produced my great friends with Joe Diamond. I want to thank you, Joe Diamond, the worker, Mr. Austin, for the Jesse, Mr. Bruce, uh, and the wife of the retail community, uh, Mr. Henry Robertson, and Mr. Bailey, and Mr. Mason, and all of you individuals who came here, our former congressman, Mr. Diane Watson, from my heart. This introduce one culture to another culture. Now we'd like to invite the founder and president of Airline Ambassadors, Ms. Nancy Rivard, to give awards to the airline companies who are flying high in the country. Thank you, Mr. Beckham. We're so pleased to have Rebecca as a big spokesperson for Airline Ambassadors. Thank you so much. For our first award, I would like to invite up the Alliance for